I'm Alex. I'm Sophia. And we are first years at MIT. Yes. Um, I'm from Florida. I'm from the great state of New Jersey. That was unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> New Jersey's bullied so much here. <laughs> um, uh, just like some quick things about us at MIT. Um, I'm 2A product design, which is a type of mechan flexible mechanical engineering uh, with a minor in design. Um, I'm 6'2", which is um, electrical engineering and computer science, uh, with a minor in architecture. So, um, let's get to it. So, why are we doing this? For you. Yes, we're doing it for you. This is because um, when we got into MIT, we had a lot of questions about like what MIT was like, not academically, but just like socially. Like, what were the people like? What was the energy? What was the culture? Yeah, what were the vibes? Um, just just getting a general impression of like how you can fit in and like what it'll feel like being here. Yeah. I think there are many different sources on like, I guess like, I don't know, like maybe Reddit or Quora has like, oh, what is this like? But it's hard to get it like from MIT students because we are very busy, very busy. But like, um, I think it's one of those things you kind of need to know like how the students themselves see like their life and like what they do to actually understand if you would like to like come to that school. So we wanted to give our perspective on things. Yeah. So um, let's get let's get into it. Why did we pick MIT? Oh, uh, okay. So MIT. Why did I pick it? I think I just really vibe with the people. I came for CPW and it was really fun. There are different like CPW. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen this year, but CPW is this thing where it's, it's campus preview weekend and um like people kind of like host a lot of different events and um you just like you go to like any event that interests you like before they had like I don't, they had a mystery or escape room at simmons uh petalama at baker uh the nitrogen ice cream nitrogen ice cream um outside the z so like they're just really cool things and um i went to cbw i stayed in this dorm burton connor bc and um i it was very thick I, <laughs> <laughs> like like elevator was not working for like the third time apparently in that semester, I was like, hmm, uh, washers were flooded for like the second time that semester. I was like, oh, <laughs> but then I was like, I guess I'm gonna live here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just really like the people. I didn't actually like go to any classes during CPW. Like some people like shadowed classes. I was like, like this that's is my lot. break from classes. Yeah, that's a lot. This is my <laughs> preview weekend. <laughs> like, <laughs> and you can best believe I'm gonna preview everything that's not gonna actually happen during my <laughs> normal semester. <laughs> For me, personally, why I came here to MIT, honestly, it's along the same lines. Um, I came here twice, uh, once for an official visit for the lightweight women's rowing team, um, and then the second time for CPW. Um, so I think what really convinced me was like my initial imp impression, which was my official visit, because that was in October, and CPW is in April. April, April. yeah. yeah. Um, I stayed for two nights. I stayed one night in a dorm called Massey, um, and I really, really liked my host. I really liked her roommate as well. Um, the four of us, like me, Alex, and then like my host and her roommate, we also made like brownies together. Like, cut the um, brownies. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's it just like, it was a nice energy. I really liked them. Um, and then I stayed the second night here in Burton Connor um, on one of the floors. And again, I really liked my host. Um, I really, really liked the people in this dorm. Oh my god. And you're sliding. <laughs> I'm sliding down. Um, it was, it just felt like a family. It felt like a really strong community. Um, and yes, it was very jank. Like there were holes in the walls. There were weird smells. One of the showers did not have hot water. Um, and also like the drain just like wasn't there. Also, it was just mice. a hole. We have mice. Oh yeah, we have so many but, mice. Like, and so I think like, Despite all of its jankiness, I just fell in love with the dorm. Oh, also, like, you get to paint murals on the walls in this particular dorm. Um, and it was just like, I'm really artsy, I guess. And so it was just like, it just felt like, wow, I want to call this place my home. Um, and I know that, like, impression was based off of the dorm, but, like, genuinely, all the people I met, including, like, during CPW, that were, like, at MIT, I was just like, wow, these are amazing people. They seem really cool. And I really... It's, it's that feeling of like, these are my people, this is where I belong. Yeah. So um, if you get that feeling of home at any point, like at, like during your college decisions to so like search, um, always know that like 
that feeling of him is a very strong factor in it. Like it's not just like even though academics is a very big role and like other like there are other big factors, but like don't underestimate how important like feeling at home is at a college because that is where you'll be for your next four years. Okay, so let's talk about what we're involved in. Involvements. Um. Yes. This semester, um, we're kind of involved in some of the same things. We're involved in Chroma, which is a writing magazine. It's humanities and tech. Um, it's a really cute small club. It's a cute community. We will be writing shit. Yeah. Pick up our magazine. When yeah. It drops. Uh, then we also are both part of the Infinite. Um, it's the fashion magazine on campus. We actually have a copy right here. Um, it involves like photography, um, also making the actual like articles of clothing, yeah. um, modeling, design. Uh, there's also like articles too. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, so like we're part of that. I'm really excited for it. Things haven't picked up yet, but they yeah, will. They will. Yeah. Um, it's very designy. Um, let's see. You're part of BWA. Oh, I'm part of the Black Women's Alliance. Um, I would recommend. It's like if you're a black woman. And even if you're just an ally, like come through. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a very cute community. I have like, we have bigs and littles. Like my big is Naila. Shout out to Naila, love her. Um, but yeah, so we just do like little cute events. Next week is Black Women's Week actually. So there's like an event each day. Um, like movie watching, baking, cooking, different things. But yeah, you're in CC, uh, CSC. Yes, I'm in CSC and ATS. Uh, CSC is the Chinese Student Club. Um, and then ATS is the Association of Taiwanese Students. I'm not Taiwanese, but I am Chinese. Uh, both are just like ethnic groups on campus. They have a lot of cute events like making dumplings or hot pot over. Oh, didn't mean to hit you. Um, just like, it's, it's a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just a, it's a great community. Um, just like a comment on community here as well. I think like the biggest community I feel is with our dorm, but like you can definitely find so many different communities here through clubs, extracurriculars, etc. Um, finding community is like, I think really important and it's like the best part about college in my opinion. Um, anyway, so I also did uh, Asian dance team last semester. Uh, so did some dancing um, and just like a comment on clubs. We have like 450 different student groups on campus. Um, and so like it ranges from poker club to chocolate club to I don't know. I, don't, I can't think of anything else. <laughs> there There's 450, I swear. <laughs> there will be like a, a fair or like an expo where you can see like like all the clubs will have booths and you can go around and like get. I've got so many free shirts. But yeah, <laughs> but like you can get like different information about the clubs and like see which ones you want to join. Um, also, I'm a tour guide. I'm. I just got certified this Friday. Um, although uh, they canceled all the tours to MIT because of the coronavirus. So I'm employed, but also unemployed. <laughs> um, I'm also part of the lightweight women rowing team, which I mentioned earlier for my official visit. Um, it's it's probably my like biggest commitment and like extracurricular. It's six days a week, two hours each day, but I really, really love my team. Um, it's just some really, really supportive, really positive, interesting, diverse uh, people on my team, and I love them a lot. Uh, so if you're like interested in sports here at MIT. Um, there's like 33 varsity teams, um, all of which are D3, except for rowing, which is D1. Um, but just like, if you have any questions, let us know. Um, I'm also involved in Maker Lodges, which are like cool MIT um, spaces and workshops where like there's a lot of machinery and equipment, like mills, lathes, laser cutters, 3D printers, uh, like form, uh, Form printers, yeah. Form like where, like just anything you can like think of. There's probably a shop that has it, and so I, I mentor at two actually. And it's really fun. You can make a lot of products in these maker spaces. I feel like uh, we've explored, like starting from IP, we started like using maker spaces a lot more, and we've made some like cool projects for our friends or like just like for ourselves. So yeah. like that's been a cool like. She made a music box. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, she made shot glasses for a friend to drink water from. Like, yeah, water. Yeah. Love water. <laughs> H2O. 
then you wake up in the long night of drinking, but you're okay because it's water. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think like just a comment on making things at MIT. There's like so many opportunities for you to make things. Um, I think it's like one of the common threads with like students here is like they just like creating things. They're like very creative, imaginative. Um, so like we have these maker spaces, um, and there's just a lot of resources for you to create your own projects and like get funded for it or get paid to do it even. Um, Our friend, like she built a fear powered skateboard. We won't go into the details of how it works, but just know. Yeah, she did it. And she did it through a program that pays for it all. Yeah, so like she got to do this like fun passion project and got her money's back. So she did it for free. Her cash money's back. Yeah. So if you have any cool ideas and you're like, oh my God, I just, I just don't have the funds for this. Just know you will. You yeah, I'm like, she will be like, I got your back. I got your back. Yeah. All state. We're by your side. Nationwide. Oh, nationwide. It's like, which insurance is that? Well, MIT won't be your insurance. Let it be known. Let it be known. Um, okay, what next? Um, the recaps on our recaps semester. on our first semester. So first semester of freshman year is- Peener. Peener, <laughs> as, as the cool kids call it. It's PNR. <laughs> um, PNR is basically pass no record, which means uh, you can either, like, let's say you get a C or above, it's on your uh, record as P, like just a pass. So, like, it doesn't really matter what grade you get as long as you pass class. And if you don't pass, there's no record of it. Like, it never existed. You never took that class. Like, who? Which class? Where is she? Didn't exist. Never happened. Um, so, yeah, PNR, uh, PNR. I hate, I hate PNR. PNR allows you to explore a lot of like different things on campus and just like, I guess relax. Cause like, I will say that MIT is a lot. Like there are a lot of things, like like a lot of expectations of you and in your classes. So like PNR allows you to adjust to that. So you're more equipped when like second semester comes and you're like, oh, I'm a bit stressed, but I know how to deal with this. Cause I've made like, I've learned from my first semester. Um, so yeah, uh, PNR, how do we spend our first semester? Let's start from the very beginning. Let's start from the F-pop. Yes, um, <laughs> F-Pops are pre-orientation programs, first year pre-orientation programs. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones. There's ones for like uh, civil engineering. There's one, there's like leadership ones where you just like go camping for a week. Mm -hmm. um, we did Discover Prod Design, DPD, DPD, which we're planning to be mentors for next year. Who so let it be known. Um, Rush DPD. Yeah, Rush B DPD. Do it! Do it now! <laughs> do it now! It hasn't um, been opened yet, but like, do it now. <laughs> um, DPD was like kind of how our friend group formed as well. Like the basis, um, like the yeah, the foundation. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, and now. also it's the reason why I switched from biological engineering to, <laughs> to a product design. Uh, but let's not talk about that. So, let's talk about that. <laughs> ah, no. So, pre-orientation programs, great. Um, and then following that, there's Rex, which is residential exploration, all of the different dorms. There's 10 different dorms on campus. Um, they all have like different events, uh, like food events, et cetera, where you can like explore mm -hmm. the dorms, you which can, is like, cool. Get to know like the, cause I feel like each dorm has their own culture or like um, atmosphere. And so Rex allows you to like see which atmosphere fits you best personally. Um, but yeah, so like those were the two beginning weeks of like MIT. And then you're like, oh, this is cute. Like, what's the stress even? Yeah. Like, we're just vibing. And then school starts, and you're like, ah. <laughs> but yeah. But it's fine, because it's you're fine. on Peter. You're on Peter. Yeah. Peter. So um, my classes for the first semester, and also IAP, which is Independent Activities Period, which is the month of January. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. But um, I took physics, calculus, um, what else did I take? Oh, chemistry 3091, which was fun. It was, it was fun because like we got goodie bags every single week and then like those goodie bags were take home experiments where you, it just reinforced ideas you learn in class, which was like really cool. Um, and then also Haas, my Haas class, which is my humanities, arts, and social sciences class was bioethics. Also very interesting. Mm -hmm. Back when he was a bio Oh wait, here. and then, oh yeah, ah ha ha ha. Um, and then during IP, I had 6145, which was intro to programming through Python. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a friend she is. She's, yeah, she's, she's to get my roommate. <laughs> oh, she's in the bathroom. Oh, she's in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, God. Um, and then 402A, which is how to design for my design minor. It was a studio intensive. Um, really, really cool. Got to like make some things, design some things, learn how to CAD. Yeah. Um, my first semester, I did uh, 801, which is physics. Um, I did 1801A and 1802A, which is just an accelerated version of calculus one and calculus two. 
Um, I did, what am I forgetting? I did a six triple one. I forgot that. Oh my God. Six triple one is intro to programming. Um, so I did that. Uh, oh yeah, I did 7012, which was biology. And these are like, so um, there are GIRs, which is General Institute Requirements. And like, these are things that you need to like take regardless of your major. Um, some people ASC out of them. That'll be another top. Like, I feel like we can go into the intricacies of that like in a later video, but like ASC is just taking an exam out, like it's testing out of the class. Um, and then my last class was my HAVS, which is uh, 4210, which is Introduction to Urban Design. Really fun, really cool. You get to like look into like how, I guess the background of how buildings are made relates to their actual like history and their physical being. Yeah, uh, so then overall, I'd say your semesters, like going back to the PNR, um, it just allows this flexibility of like, you know, sleeping a little bit later at night, um, <laughs> being able to explore different interests, different clubs, um, meeting new people, so socializing more, mm -hmm. um, and also like being able to go to parties if you're into that. MIT is low key party school. Um, oh, man. Like, yeah, like all the kids, all, all the kids, kids like from up. Harvard, Wellesley, BU. But like, yeah, <laughs> yeah just like sure. people, people from other colleges like come to our parties, which I think like goes to show how like poppin they are. Uh, we also have like some interesting parties. Like we had one earlier this year in this dorm um, called Anything But Clothes, uh, where you wore anything but clothes. There's also like East Campus had one called Mardi Gras, where you like had to do dares in order to get beads. Um, and then they have one later in the year. Article uh, two. Yes, article two. You can only wear up to two articles of clothing. Yeah, so spicy stuff, man. You know, you know how to be. <laughs> um, but there's also like frat parties, which yeah. are like pretty standard, I guess. Um, so yeah, PNR is nice in that way. I think like overall, my semester was like really good in the sense of uh, I learned a lot about myself, I think, in a great way. Like I journal every day um, and I just like got to reflect on what it's like being independent, what it's like taking care of myself uh, in ways I wasn't like conscious of in high school, like feeding myself and like making sure I got sleep and making sure I didn't get sick. Um, and then also just like meeting new people. Yeah. I will say, yeah, like <coughs> along those lines of like, <coughs> you have this newfound independence and it was like just, first semester allowed me to like realize what I like I need to like there's some things that I need to just do myself to do like oh my god it's fun to stay up late till like 4am talking to your friends it's not good for you <laughs> get some sleep <laughs> um so like this semester I like did this thing where I like would only sleep like I'd sleep at midnight and wake up like at 7 30 like try to like wake up early and like start my day off which has been working so far kind of this last week has been hazy but yeah like <laughs> first semester like just taught me how to like better equip myself to do well in school and not get stressed because I think it's very easy to get overwhelmed quickly so first semester kind of like you, since you have PNR you like see when the overwhelm is coming and you're like how do I stop this like and you realize that for next semesters um also yeah it just allowed me to like manage myself like yeah as you said like eating like making sure you're healthy just making sure like the things around you are to your life like you now have complete control over like how you study how you do like anything i don't like you have just so much creative freedom over your life now and it's like interesting to see how you use it in college also wait there was one thing you mentioned i was like yes but I, it, was, it was after independence meeting new people yes the people here um it's really fun i feel like for semester especially like a lot like everyone's in that like outgoing mode not to say it stops it's still there like it's still like I, like people are still super friendly it's like just really easy to get to know people for semester and those people later become important connections. Yeah. Hence FPOP. Rush DPD. Rush DPD. DPD. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think like the biggest thing to take away from this video at least is like we like MIT. We love MIT really because of the people around us. I H T F P. I have truly found par paradise. Pair of Pair of eyes. I have truly found pair of eyes. Finally. <laughs> it's really the people that make the college experience amazing. Um, it's a community. It's a family. You just, I don't know. It's just, just like, vibe. yeah, you're just vibing together. There will be moments you will not vibe. Like, as in like, you will just be, you might be stressed. You might be overwhelmed. And no, you're not alone. But also know that like, it's, it gets, it gets better. Like, yeah. And you always have like people around you to support you and who care about you. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, so we're gonna have a Q&A session where we talk to our friends and like ask them questions about MIT and they're gonna like give their responses, which will hopefully give you guys a better sense of MIT and beyond like our own opinions on MIT. Um, so I guess to close it, to close this video off, um, I guess a reiteration on like the goal of this video and like the goal of this video series um it's not for us it's for you it's for you we know that like we didn't have as much information as, as like of mit as we would have liked and we want to give that to you like all the information all of it is coming to you right now and i guess more in the future because there'll be more videos <laughs> <laughs> so like if you have any questions just let us know uh we're very happy and eager to respond to them um because at some point we were in your shoes and like we were confused and like not really sure like what MIT was like and so hopefully like you guys are better informed than we ever were <laughs> like we've we've taken those shoes and we've passed them on to you exactly <laughs> <laughs> so take our shoes <laughs> take them now we were once in them and now now they're yours but yeah so this is um, where we leave you guys um, we will be back with more answers and more explanations of different things we've touched upon in this video. And stay informed. Yeah. Don't let senior writers hit you. Or like sophomore writers. Like whatever year you're in, don't let it hit you. <laughs> Second grade writers. <laughs> <laughs> Kindergartners be like, fuck it, man. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> it's like alphabets again. <laughs> <laughs> Not this. <laughs> But yeah. Like, what is two plus two? Why do I fucking care? Why do I care? When will I ever need this information in life? <laughs> what do you mean, is life? Anyway. Anyway. So, yeah, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching our video. Thank um, you for sticking with us to this, this time. Yeah, this time. Yes. We're gonna make some edits, so. We're gonna edit that out. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, See you next video. See you next video. Let's. If you want feet pics, Sophia has them. Oh my gosh! How did you know? <laughs> anyway, this is where we exit. Goodbye.